Hi guys! As promised, this video is going to be a home goods haul. So I wanted to take you on a shopping trip with me for the beginning of the video so that you can see some things that I have looked at that I love that I purchased. Um, since the pandemic has happened and um, since they opened back up, I've been at home goods maybe every other day. So this is one of my many shopping hauls at home goods and I just wanted to take you guys with me. So you can see some things that I like that I looked at and maybe ha take some guesses on some things that I picked up that's going to be in this haul. I do want you guys to like and subscribe um, this video and also leave me some comments at the bottom. Let me know things that I can improve, things that you like about the video, things that you want to see from me. Um, as always, it's all in love and I would love to hear your feedback. Um, also, guys, let me know some things that you've been doing during the pandemic to keep busy. I've definitely been shopping and connecting with friends and also getting some um, business work done. So without further ado, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this shopping haul and then, or sorry, this shopping trip and then we'll get right into the haul. Have a great day. Happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of Home Therapy with Re. Again, my name is Re, and this is my channel. This is the only channel on YouTube that's good for your health. So, as I promised in my last video, today is going to be a shopping haul. So, we're going to be doing some retail therapy. And what I chose is to do a home goods haul. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love home goods. I usually post things that I see when I'm in the store and things that I buy. So I'm going to go over everything that I bought during this whole pandemic. So it's a lot of stuff. This might be a long video. You guys bear with me. I'm sure you'll love all the stuff that I have. But first, before I get into the haul, I want to do my feature of the week or of the day because I did one on uh, Monday, Tuesday. This feature is going to be B Glam Boutique. I got this cute pineapple shirt from there it's so gorgeous i love it so much and check out the detailing on the shirt it has the buttons going down the sleeves on both sides and the pineapples are too cute so i'm gonna link her boutique down below her name is Brittany, and it's b glam boutique be sure to check her out all right so without further ado we're gonna start our home goods haul like i said guys I've been doing some major shopping. As soon as um, Home Goods opened back up, I gave it maybe a week or so because I just wasn't ready yet. And then I went in. So I've been going to Home Goods like almost every other day. So I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. I'm so excited about it because, like I said, I love Home Goods. So here's the first item. I'm going to go from least favorite to my favorite items, okay? So. My favorite section at Home Goods is the little trinket section, the section like that's really for like bookcases and stuff like that, because I feel like you find such unique pieces that you wouldn't get anywhere else. And I think it's so cute. So this is my first thing that I want to feature. It's a cute little bell. Check out all the details in it. And I love gold. So most of my colors in my house are very neutral colors. And my only pop of color is, is blue and then I have gold accents. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up and it works, it's so cute. I love this bell. I believe I bought one before, but I think my husband took it and took it to his classroom. This is what he does with most of my decorations. So I bought another one. So, so, so cute. And another thing, like, so during, these are usually out during Christmas time and I just was not picking it up. When it's Christmas time, I like to shop for other people and I try not to shop for myself. So as many times as I have passed by, it hurt me every time not to get it for myself, but I was shopping for other people. So I end up finding these. These are so cute, these little lotus flowers. I think they are so gorgeous. They add that little sparkle in a room 
and they're so, so, so cute. And you can put a candle in it. The, this one I put a candle in. So, so gorgeous. So I have like three of these. And then I bought one that has a candle cord and I'll show you that, that. But I love these things so, so much. Here is the one with the candle in it. This is my mom's because I got it for her, but I just haven't given it to her yet. So just wanted to show it. It smells so good. And again, I love these things. Little lotus flowers. And whenever I reveal my logo, my logo has a lotus flower on it because that's how much I love them. And then so one day I was in Home Goods and I was in the checkout line and I saw these cute little bowls. I don't really know what they're for. I know they're not probably not for consumption or food because they have these little felt pads underneath that probably wouldn't do well like washing it. So I keep them on my console table um, by my TV. I just think they're so cute. Like I couldn't pass them up and they're, it was only $4.99. I have it right $4.99. I got two of them because they were too cute. Couldn't pass them up. I love this like earthy, beige color with the papa gold. So, so cute. Now, on to my next thing. This is like going to be two or three of them, so I gotta get them. But my friend here on you, Nadia from um, Styles by Casanova, she asked me to look for one of these for her and I was able to find it and I had it in my home and I looked at it and I'm like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. So now I have become obsessed with these geodes crystals and I have this one in white. I love it so much. It adds a little bit of sparkle um, on my coffee table because I sit it on top of my coffee table books. And then I have this one. This one is my favorite. It's like a gorgeous, smooth crystal. I love this so much. This adds like a pop of elegance in your house as well because I like a little bit of sparkle. So these adds the sparkle that you're looking for. How gorgeous are these? Now these can be a little bit pricey, but once you get into it, you kind of get obsessed and then you're willing to pay that money. Next item is another favorite find of mine. Guys, I am in love with candles. Candles to me is another form of therapy. Just something, walking in the house, is something about smelling something that smells so good when you walk in the house. Or even when you're just trying to relax, just smelling like a, a good aroma. It just does something to me. I don't know. I just love candles. So you can imagine when I walked into Home Goods and saw this baby, how excited I got. Guys, look at this. So it's like a Murano looking glass. It's, and you might not be able to tell, but this is like the size of a bathroom trash can. And look at it. It's all candle. It's a five wick candle. It was $40, but it was so worth it. If you buy two Bath and Body Works candles, that's $40. So this is like maybe six Bath and Body Works candles in one. So I snatched it up. So not only do I have this one, this one is the one that I keep in my pool table room. But I also have this one. This one is the one that I keep in the living room because it has my blue, my pop of blue and a lighter blue. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. And every time I see them, I buy them. So if I see some more, I'm gonna buy them every time. Y'all better get them for me. <laughs> The next thing that I really, really loved when I walked into Home Goods one day is this tray, this heavy marble tray, and it has these gorgeous gold accents. I think it's so gorgeous. I keep it on this bookshelf behind me, but I took it off um, to do this video and to kind of share it with you guys. It's so gorgeous. And again, all of this stuff is from Home Goods. That, like the people know me on a first name basis. They know when I walk in, it's on. <laughs> the lady even always greets me in the door. It's like, girl, we got this in today. I'm like, yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. So here's another thing that I picked up at Home Goods. This is from Nude Glass. It's a high end glass company. And this is kind of like a cheese board, butter tray. It's, so whatever you want to do it, but I would put my butter and crackers 
or not butter and crackers, my cheese and crackers on here, and then have a little lid to display it out while I have company. You can even use it for outside to keep the flies from getting into your food. I just thought it was so super cute, and this is a nice thick cover, and it has like this little packaging look. It has the seams to make it like a package. I thought it was so cute, so I couldn't pass it up. Then, here's another purchase that I really love. This is something else that was over there in the section with the stuff that goes on shelves and stuff. I thought these were some cute gold links. Again, gold is my accent color and these are so cute. So I keep them up on my um, counter in my kitchen on my uh, Lazy Susan and it goes so well with the decor, it's so cute. And I think these were like maybe 20, yeah, I think they were like 19.99 but they're so cute, they're so worth it. I'm gonna start doing daylight videos. It's just like working and being a mama, nighttime always works best for me. But I wanna kinda of give you guys some natural light and some little daytime videos, so I'll do that in the next video. But I promise it just ends up working like that, that I'm able to do it at night. Here is another favorite. So I have a very neutral kitchen. My kitchen is beige, is marbles, browns, um, and then I have one pop of color, a, a jar of lemons on, in my thing. So this still goes with my beigey brown marble theme, but it added a little bling into it. So I loved it. I grabbed it right up and um, I used this on my counter, but it's so cute. I'm using that into all of the like writing and stuff like that, but this one I could not pass up. This is so pretty. I love it. Okay, so another favorite of mine. Well, three more favorites of mine. <laughs> These coffee table books. I love coffee table books, especially when it has vivid pictures in it, because I just feel like they cap it captivates your cus your customers. It cap <laughs> it captivates your guests, and they have something to look at. So this is the first one that caught my eye while I was at home this one day. It's the Vogue with Rihanna on it. Do you guys see how gorgeous she is on this cover? Her gorgeous red hair just pops and I just had to get it. I could not leave this on the shelf. I didn't care how much it costs, really. It's like, oh, Riri's on it with this beautiful red hair, I'm getting it. So this is one of my first coffee table books. I love it so much. Then another favorite of mine, my, my friend in my head, Joanna Games. This is her homebody book. And guys, if you're looking to get into interior design or you just wanna know interior design, this is a really great book. Like from the beginning, it starts off telling you what your design style is. It kind of explains what each design style um, has in it um, and what you need to be looking for if this is your style. Or even if you don't know your style, it kind of gives you um, pointers on how to figure out what your style is. So I really appreciate this book. I actually sat down and read this book being a designer this was some this helped me out a lot so this is a real informative book and it's worth the price it's 30 percent off right now at target so i would go grab it and then this one i just came across at home this the other day it's called the white book or for the love of white in a neutral home so it has a lot of um, neutral color palette homes like beiges, browns, textures. I love this a lot too. I think it gives you an idea of how um, to style your home with not a lot of color, but still give it more dimension. Like look at these, those are gorgeous. Give it more dimension than just like one plain white color. You can mix it up with creams, browns, textures, um, and still create a cohesive space when not using a lot of color. So I really like that and I wanted to check it out. So I grabbed this too. This one I really love. This is the outdoor candle. It's a Buddha candle. I love it so much. I use it inside right now just for decoration, but eventually it's gonna go outside because it is a citronella candle. But I loved it so, so much. I really want one of those Jonathan Adler candles and until I get one of those, it's probably gonna sit there until I replace it with a Jonathan Atlee candle because I think it's so interesting. It gives it so much um, dimension. I love those candles so much, but until I can get one, 
food is gonna do. <laughs> um, let's see, what do I want to do next? These next ones are some of my favorites. So I'll go ahead and go with this one. I was gonna save this one for last, but it's easier to grab it now. So it's this home goods that is a couple of miles away from me. They're, um, it's like 45 minutes away, but it's like a small home goods that I don't believe a lot of people go to and they have the best stuff. They have stuff in that home goods that I've never seen in any other home goods. Like usually if you see something in one home goods, you can go to another one and see it. But it's been several times I've been in there that I've seen things that I have ever seen anywhere else at another home goods. So this is one of them. I saw two that day and I should have grabbed two, but I only grabbed one and I haven't seen that another home goods yet. It's a huge selenite stick on a stand. Guys, I had just bought the little individual sticks by itself and I had them on my table but they shed a lot. If you know anything about selenite, it sheds, it like splinters a lot. So you can cut yourself um, if a kid plays with it, they can um, get the shards in their skin. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, you don't have to touch it. It's on a stand, but it still gives the beauty. Oh my God, look how the light is reflecting on it. I love this so, so much, but it still gives the beauty of the selenite. So I took those other ones back and I had bought this one and I love this. I wish I got two because I, now I want the other one. But yeah, this is one of my favorite. This actually is my favorite, but I just went ahead and showed it because it's not as heavy and big as the other ones that I'm going to show. But oh my gosh, guys, isn't this gorgeous? You cannot tell me this is not. Oh, I love it so, so, so much. Last but not least, it's been a part of the background this entire time. This is gorgeous Bird of Paradise um, plant. I love this plant so much. It's sitting on a stand. I don't want to grab it or pick it up because it's just an awkward position, but you guys can see it. And it's in this white pot and I love it so much. It adds so much interest and greenery to the space. Um, it's just unbelievable. It's so, so, so gorgeous. Um, I've been looking for get, to get one of these for a while and I just couldn't find it. Like when I, anytime I get something in my head that I'm looking for when I get the home goods, they never have it anymore. Even though I see it all the time when I'm there. So I was looking for this before quarantine hit. And then after quarantine, I still couldn't find it for weeks. And then they finally got a shipment of a lot of them. They had either the white pot or the black pot. So I opted to get this um, white pot. It's so, so, so gorgeous. Um, guys, between the selenite, the table, and this, these are my favorite purchases from Home Goods. But that's pretty much it today. And I, just like I thought, we were about at 20 minutes. Um, but that's all I've, I've got for now, today, for my Home Goods haul. You guys, comment down below. Tell me what your favorite thing was um, in the haul. Tell me what you want to see more of. Give me some suggestions for videos. I really want to hear from you. Um, if you have a business that you would like me to feature in the beginning of one of my videos, let me know, send me a DM. I'm gonna put my YouTube or my Instagram link down below. You can send me a, um, you can send me a DM or you can just write me here on YouTube um, and let me know a little bit about your business and what you want me to feature. I'll be more than happy to. Also, um, like I said, give me some suggestions for videos and tell me what your favorite thing about this haul was. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, I just wanna let you know that a perfectly designed space is the ultimate therapy. And please come back next week because it's good for your health. Like and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.